We'll say that we'll see more showers into the Pacific Northwest. The system moves further inland. Showers and thunderstorms into California, also into Nevada and into Idaho. That will continue in showers into the east. By tomorrow, the showers will slowly push up the eastern seaboard, so it should be a messy start to the day around Philadelphia, New York City, and especially Boston. Not a great commute. And uh, already flight delays at Logan now. You need to call ahead for tomorrow for sure. Scattered showers, maybe even some snow spurts. Rely on the Weather Channel. We keep you ahead of the storm. In the next half hour, Weather Center PM, a comprehensive national forecast. At 40 after, Weather Center PM continues with highway and air travel conditions. Then the weekend outlook. And at 50 after, storm watch. But right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. sections of the east and west coast saw some wet weather today while the nation's midsection was filled with sunshine and actually above average temperatures. Good evening. Welcome to Weather Center. I'm Rich Johnson. Good afternoon. I'm Lisa Moser. We have all the details on what you can expect for Friday. A lot of folks uh, enjoying the weekend or making plans for it at least. Uh, we will focus on the rain that has been falling in parts of the East Coast. A lot of delay delays coming in from Boston, New York, Long Island, Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia hasn't had a lot of rain, but it's been a lot of light to moderate rain. We'll be telling you about that. First, let's take a look at the travel of the commute home this afternoon, this evening. Uh, we are looking at a lot of water on the roadway. It's been all associated on the backside of a low pressure area. It continues to come down. So if you're doing some traveling along Interstate 95, maybe going from uh, the Cape Cod or New Bedford area into uh, northern Jersey and all the way down to D.C., look out. The windshield wipers will need to be working because the rain is going to continue to come down, not only the early evening, but overnight tonight and probably tomorrow morning. Tomorrow may look a little bit better. We'll tell you more about that in the forecast. I also want to mention that we have a northeasterly wind. These northeasterly winds are causing some problems along our Cape Cod area. So from the Merrimack River of Massachusetts all the way down to Sandy Hook, New Jersey, we have gale warnings that are posted. The winds are out of the northeast. They've been gusting at times above 35 miles per hour. The sustained winds not too bad. And the further inland you go, winds out of the north and northwest at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Looking at the bands of moisture, keep in mind our low pressure area out here to the Atlantic and these little stripes okay these bands of moisture are wrapping in behind the low it's an endless source of moisture the Atlantic out here so as long as the low sits out here we will continue to tell you that we have lots of rain showers with these bands continuing to move in you'll notice that over towards Long Island we've got a shower and thunderstorm moving in so hey watch out you'll have to hurry up and get to the subway before that thunderstorm really uh, starts to downpour on top of you looking at the surface map you'll notice that our winds are northeasterly right across where our gale warnings are in effect right a little bit further inland though we have a more northerly flow 
the further inland you are, the better off you are, and you're probably not seeing quite as much rain. We had rain in Philadelphia. This is what it looked like this morning in the city of Brotherly Love, also known for its famous and fabulous cheesesteaks, where you had to have that umbrella to keep that cheesesteak uh, dry today. Uh, the rain, again, wasn't quite as heavy as it was, say, towards Boston or towards New York at times, but still, it's been very persistent. You'll have to continue to keep that umbrella uh, this evening if you're planning to go back out overnight tonight because the low pressure area is not going anywhere. The cloud cover is going to be in place and the rain showers will continue to move in. But the good thing about Philadelphia is that you're a little bit further away from that low pressure area. So we're talking mainly light and occasional moderate rain showers for the most part. You'll also notice that we have this, we have a northerly flow pretty far south. And with the upper level low also trying to move away from the northeast, uh, we are seeing a pocket of cool air. And today that really, that pocket of cooler air was up over a surface that was warmer. And by comparison, we also looked at uh, the disturbances that are, you know, very common to rotate around the upper level low. And that kicked out a few, gave it that extra lift and kicked out a few thunderstorms in around Macon, Georgia. We got hit pretty good. We got hit pretty good in Blount County also. Some hail was associated with some of the thunderstorms. So we'll continue to watch the rain showers for the Carolinas overnight tonight as you make your way uh, out and about this Thursday evening. Look out along Interstate 85, 75, 95. You'll see water uh, coming down. You'll be driving in and out of rain showers. Very scattered, but very numerous. It does look like we're, we've tapered off with the thunderstorms, and so things not looking quite as threatening after losing some of the heating of the sun, but still very wet, and, and at times some of this rain may be heavy. And that's a look at how we're shaping up towards the east. Rich? Showers and thunderstorms have moved across the west coast today, particularly the northwest coast. There's also the potential for severe weather today. And as I show you the latest of what's going on, first of all, the watches. And this is the way it's looking from... Idaho up into Montana, Washington State. Actually, one of the watch areas being trimmed back. This one right here earlier was covering parts of Oregon. Cold fronts coming through, more stable air. That means less favorable for thunderstorms. Here's the situation, a couple fronts coming on in. We have nice mild air coming up ahead of it and that's set in the stage four storms. Meanwhile, in Chicago, nice day. Check it out here. Beautiful day around Chicago uh, where temperatures were about 10 degrees above average if you're out for a stroll. Looks like a fun thing to do. We're out reading the paper in the park. Enjoy temperatures into the low 70s. Tomorrow is going to bring more warm and windy weather. And you'd think, yeah, windy weather for Chicago. Not named after the wind, but politicians actually. Looking farther to the west, 80 degrees Salt Lake City, 60s and 50s farther to the north. So, sign of that colder air coming on into Idaho. Meanwhile, in Phoenix, hot day today, up to 95 and good deal of sunshine into the southwest. Focusing into the northwest, here are the storms. Washington, Oregon, into Idaho. These storms heading due north with those upper air winds blowing from the south to the north. So, we look at the latest regional radar. You can see the uh, storm still pretty active over toward east central Washington. There were some pretty big ones also near Boise earlier, and those have now essentially have disappeared. Still, the watchbirds rely on the Weather Channel. We keep you.